I think it's ironic that now that I've cleaned this retro thruster, it looks brand new. I hate you right now. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> this is the Waffle Bros. I'm Corwin. And I'm Uko. And today we are going to finish off the Power Wash Simulator Warhammer 40k pack and, um... We're finishing cleaning this big boy here, and we might as well start with cleaning the wing tip. You gotta start by cleaning the tip, okay? The tip is the most important part to keep clean at all time because the shaft, it's hard for the shaft to get shaft to get infected, but the tip, oh. the tip can get infected. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if your shaft has holes in it, get ye, then to, get a ye to a doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're you're not wrong about that at all. Um, if shaft holes there be to a doctor, get ye. I mean, at that point, you might as well be like, get ye to a doctor and to a priest. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And uh, oh. yeah, yeah, because uh, you need some serious help, be it uh, be it secular or religious at that point. You're going to need some spiritual guidance if you get a yep. hole in your shaft. It's because you've been getting you to a nunnery far too often. <laughs> oh my god. Look, I'm just, I'm just saying nunneries, brothels of the past. Okay? That's all, that's all I'm saying. There, there appears some to be historical, uh... some level of evidence of nunneries being the brothels of the past. <laughs> I didn't know we'd talk about Nun nookie or nun nookie so quickly at the beginning of this of this video. You can't spell holy without holy. Yeah, that's that's I true. I apologize to the Catholic viewers among ye. Yup. I mean, look, the thing is, that clearly hasn't been the case for a long time. So you know, and back when it was the case, uh, apparently. Apparently, people were just into that shit. So you can't, just you can't judge the past like that. This might be deeply sacrilegious, but I feel like... Okay, I feel like with the popularity of Pokemon, Catholicism should be able to capitalize on that. It's like, you can memorize a bunch of saints. <laughs> this has gone in a strange direction, okay? And it's something that the people of the human Imperium probably wouldn't approve of. Like, no at all. There's Why is this thing. area so dirty that it requires, like, extra washing? You've noticed that, right? Well, I think it's because the, the bottom of the ship is going to get the grungiest. Oh, it's just been landing, on, and everything. landing yeah. on top of orcs so often. That's what it is. Yeah, about to drop a landing party, if you know what I mean. That, that doesn't sound oh, right. Yeah. Okay, that does not sound right. I, I've swapped over to, like, the tightest nozzle. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> That doesn't sound right. Okay, now that I've said it, the tightest Long nozzle. Shaft, tight especially, nozzle. Especially since I decided to, you know, uh, while I was saying it go, <laughs> you know, it, it, yeah. it, it rids it really any possibility the, uh... of, of it being purely accidental and just lets everyone know of the perversitude, the immediate perversitude up in here man I, this ain't, is... I ain't even paying attention i'm just being satisfied cleaning this under oh yeah cash. oh yeah you got you got to be satisfied as i said before i'd rather not try not to be satisfied thank you yeah uh, very we, much we try to be satisfied try to be satisfied and uh if that fails then um power wash more i guess that's just more power washing always leads to more satisfaction that's the way of the world. Yeah. I don't make the rules. Uh, what happened? Did you bump into me? No. It's like I, I just like it's like something nudged me. There's ghosts. It's it's the power washing ghost. It's all like. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I don't know if those like sucking noises I was making were uh, coming through on the microphone, but oh, they were. Don't don't you even worry about that. Uh, is that why I hear that retching gross. sound? <laughs> there, uh, there was no retching. No retching. But there was but worrying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. YouTube's going to be all like, don't make that sound ever again. <laughs> Just, Just so everybody knows, we don't like the weird thing you, things YouTube's been, YouTube has been doing to the interface either. Yeah, I know. It looks weird, and it is weird. It's one of those things where every so often... 
uh, it's like we've, had, we've reached this point on interface design. I know we're going to be, you know, talking about interface design now, but it's one of those things where it's it's a long considered theory in, in aesthetics that we've maybe discovered all there is to be discovered about aesthetics. <laughs> and so because of that, it's just, just change shit to change every, it. Everyone's going to be like, "Oh, that's out now, and this is in." And and you just swap to another yeah, version. Nothing is ever thing, getting yeah. better. It's just getting different. And then sometimes, it sometimes it'll get worse, worse yeah. simply to justify being different. It's like it hasn't looked like this in a while. So Let's do that. because yeah. of that, I think that we've reached that point in uh, like interface design for computers and websites and stuff like that which means that at some point here it'll be like frames are back we just invented this thing we're going to well, call I mean, them like literally, frames over here well literally yeah we have reached that point also uh it, it has now started to invade cars because the tesla cars have a yoke it's like they're literally like round steering wheels are so overdone now like they've been doing them for like 125 and of course, years that's just like yokes are cool you know uh -huh. that's <laughs> it's just purely like that so yeah yeah that's that's where we are now I, and i'm not being all judgmental about it people can enjoy they they thing it's just uh it's a little dystopian yeah just to realize that we've probably already perfected it in the past and now we're just uh we're just orbiting yeah we're just going from nadir to apex to nadir to apex and spending and, and far I'll, too much time well, in between my favorite one is the thing where and i don't even have a firm opinion i just fluctuate with it the thing about the uh the look is flat the look is 3d the look is flat you know for interfaces yes and i like it either way i was cool with windows vista looking all burbly and bubbly in 3d and i've I'm just cool been with... forcing my windows to look almost exactly the same for like 20 oh, me, years me too. so but for a little while during Vista, I was like, it can look bubbly. It's fine. It's 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 not that I really care. It's just on a moment to moment basis. I want it to look the same even when I upgrade. I don't know. Oh, also, no, I've agree. heard that Microsoft is like, hey, let's start putting advertisements into the start menu in like some beta version of, uh, uh, of 11. Yeah, of Windows we have 11. Like, we have like one more year. Before yeah, we have like one me, more year of Windows 10, and then... Uh, and then I might be switching to Linux. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm you're, I, no, you're, no, you're not. I have heard that Windows 11's performance is so bad uh, okay, that it's like yeah. a tax. You can, see, you can see how you're performing with, you know, none of the things that you want, okay? Okay, you're right. It's one thing... I'm not, I'm not like hating on anyone who wants to use Linux. That That's fine. It's just that I know Uko wouldn't survive five minutes only using Linux. That's, well, this co it's because this fool has seen me try. Yeah, yeah. And I always go back to Windows. Like within Uko a is day. Microsoft's <laughs> bitch, and, and he just needs he needs I to just, accept it. Yeah, I I just don't like it. Or <laughs> I, I, I here's the thing I've liked it up until now. You yeah, know? yeah. That's that's why I feel betrayed. Is the thing I always laugh when I hear the word canard. It just uh, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. It, well, it's like I know what a canard is. It's one of those things. Yeah, I know. But the thing that I don't know, I don't know what it is, is Cunard. Well, that was a like, line of um, of chips, wasn't it? Yeah, but what is it? I, I, probably named after Mister Cunard or something. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> well, you've ruined the mystery. Uh, why can't I move this thing now? I can't move the. There we go. Oh. You can move it. Where do you want it? Um, just set it down wherever and see if I can um, move it again. See if I can. Okay, there we go. There we go. That was really weird that well, I just. For a second there, I couldn't unmove it. I couldn't set it down. It's it permanently like stuck to my it's hand. It's permanently yeah. glued to your hand. And then uh, then it's like, suck it, bitch. And you're well, like, yeah, I don't even you know, know that. I didn't even. Why is it telling me to suck it? Well, you know why? You know what the Imperial uh, prescription for something being stuck to your hand really bad is? Right? Uh, cut off your hand or just leave it? Yeah, that's those are the options. <laughs> and they might know, not be optional. Yeah. It's like, you know, we're, we're cutting we're, off your shit. We're definitely not going to be trying to remove that shit for you. That's that's not the Imperial way, bro. That's not the Imperial way. It's like, just you better hope that it's not attached to your hand when we decide we want it. 
That's how it works. It's like you either you come really fast with the thing or uh, we're taking your hand. There hey, ain't no if, two uh, ways about it. Speaking of attaching stuff to other stuff, what if Welding Simulator is the next one? That'd be pretty cool. And what I don't if think it, it would have the same appeal as this, though. I don't think it would have the same appeal as this. You it say that wouldn't. now, but then you lay a thick, satisfying bead down. <laughs> See, that just that sounds, sounds real sexual. Yeah, <laughs> not sexual. Fecal is what that sounds. At least coiling to me. out a bead. Yeah, <laughs> coiling out a bead. Yup. Oh, we say dumb stuff here. We have yes. we have fun here, but it's also dumb. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> If you can't laugh about dropping a coiler or beating out a coil or something like that, you know. Getting out a roll of solder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Indeed. In it's lead based. Well, we got like a we got like a blood drop on this sanguinous uh, emblem over here. So I guess that makes sense because sanguine. Yeah, I know. Sanguine, as in related to blood. I I I, I am aware bitch but it is a pretty cool looking blood drop and it's probably made out of actual blood that's been crystallized in a crystallarium in a crystallizer, or something yeah that's i'm that's, into that, that yeah that's, that's, that's good that's, stuff that's you know that's the it's the warhammer way it's the warhammer way and it's the uh it's i think the it's best way. i think it's ironic that now that i've cleaned this retro thruster it looks brand new i hate you right now <laughs> you know that right <laughs> You know I hate you. I give, I, I give that an extremely low retrograde. <laughs> uh, oh, that's that's See, that, incredibly that's, stupid. Not only am I uh, proud of that, I'm going to put that as the cold open. Okay. <laughs> that is that is an extremely lukewarm open for sure. <laughs> oh. You know, you know something that I, I and this is just going to be, you know, I, I'm sure we do things on our channel that some people hate, but um, I, I have this like irrational hatred, and maybe it's rational, I don't know, but of YouTube channels that are like, here are the top, it, it'll be like a YouTube channel named like Top 13 or something like that, and then it'll be like, here are the top five most expensive this, that, or the other. And then numbers um, mean nothing. The numbers mean nothing, and the 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 whole thing is like wrong and off. And I've been noticing a lot of these popping up again. Are they AI? on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. And I never accuse anyone specifically of being AI. No, no. I, I I deliberately didn't you know give a specific name of a real channel or anything. Yeah. So don't go. Don't go Don't hating go on anybody's that channel, channel yeah. or anything. And if, we, if we accidentally named a real channel, we made it up, and it's just that the internet is large. Exactly. But, uh, oh, yeah, this is such a dirty engine exhaust. And uh, it, it's, it's got knobs on it. Why does it have so much? Why does it have such Wait, knobby on bits? I got to see these knobs. I mean, it's like just like a, you know, a kind of like a penis head, except weirdly oh, okay. deformed. I could see. You it. see them, yeah. The penobs, <laughs> yes, penobs. I'm going in for a closer look at the penob. Go in for the, you know, big thrust on the penob. That doesn't uh. even make any sense. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't need to make sense. I've been, I've been cleaning yeah, in a I sort of it. haphazard kind of way. You see them up here, right? All the knobs on the yeah, end. Yeah, I things. see them. They're pretty knobby. Yep, they're pretty. Look, if you censor that, if you blur them out for a second on the video, then it'll look like something nasty is going on. It'll look like something nasty is up in this bitch. Uh, ah, I know what to do. Can I lift this wing? There we go. That'll make cleaning. I forgot we could lift it. Much, much easier. I have been cleaning in a very haphazard way this time. So. You know, uh, you can blame well, me if a whole bunch of shit is like 90% cleaned. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, that's what that's what the uh, the cleaning spidey sense is for. I mean, I the wish... Grimy sense. I wish cleanness worked that way in the real world where you could see a percentage of how clean it is. I mean, yep. obvious. First of all, you would put like... You would put a stop completely to hospital-born infections. <laughs> There would never be hospital-born infections again. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
also, Mursa you, would be stopped dead in its no tracks. One would, no one would ever go and sleep in a motel, hotel, or bed and breakfast ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Because Part you would see of the all breakfast that is stuff. somebody else's cum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what? the con that's the most continental breakfast. And continental I've breakfast ever is when it's partially their shit or piss. <laughs> See, I, I I had the broad strokes of that joke and you really made that work. But yeah, I'm not I happy just, about it. I just it. drove it home. Ah, I, oh, the, I, in real life I would have broken all my legs. Did I accidentally now. knock you off somehow? I think you might have, I don't know. But they would have had to, you know, run, run up on me and uh use a healing ray on me and then charge me for it. <laughs> yeah. or, you know, dock my pay. I actually don't know much about how, um, how the economy, the works? economy yeah. works in the Warhammer 40k universe. Yeah, like, it actually, I it actually might get deeply good capitalist. I don't know, but it might not be. It might be some sort of weird, like mercantilist, like hyper mercantilist it, also paradise they, thing. They might have some I sort mean, of NHS. You know, I don't know. The Imperial... I, I get me brain medicines from the Imperial Elf. <laughs> There's always a Simpsons joke for everything. It's just for... Uh, oh, yeah. For everything, there is a Simpsons joke. And what's joke. weird is I don't have to go outside. I don't have to go to double-digit seasons. No. Because all the ones I have, like, in my head are from the first nine seasons. Uh-huh. Not think, just the first seven. I personally think The Simpsons was good through season 14. It was. I just don't remember I'm sure as there many are, memories. I'm sure there are still other good episodes past season 14, but it's just my my personal time that I enjoyed <laughs> so, The yeah. Simpsons went through season 14. And most people are like, it stopped being good after season six or something like that. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. Most people say seven was the last good one, and I'm like, no, nah, it went on. Yeah, uh -huh. and it wasn't. It wasn't a, uh, a. It was a gradual transition. It wasn't a uh, an instant transition either. And of course, uh, I I of course believe the first two seasons were shit. And no, that's no, no, that's when true. the chuds yeah. came after no, me. It's, yeah, uh, because I can't. I just can't watch seasons one and two. Just like I can't watch seasons one and two of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Yup. Pretty, it is pretty kind much of the same time. How around the early two thousands people stopped having television shows where the first season sucked it's like i mean unless yeah. just the show sucked no no here's like, no thing. one's here's... like no one's like uh, i could never watch season one of breaking bad here's no one says weird. that it that that's not the weird part the weird part is that back in the day people were like we won't really try with the first season yeah it like maybe we'll get picked up because of voodoo magic we'll just we'll just rely on Letting the audience tell us what we're doing wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll let them dial it in. It's like a workshop thing. They're unpaid uh, yep. consultants. You're, yeah, let the audience beta test our TV show. And of course, sometimes, sometimes video games feel like that today. Like the audience is beta testing the video game. Yeah, and then you know, a year later, the people get the the final the experience. Edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. But at least in that case. You finally get a whole good thing. It's like take something like um, like uh, Cyberpunk twenty sixty nine, right? So when it first came out, it was all busted. But it's but at least now. now, at least now, it's the whole thing is fixed, as opposed to not having the whole thing fixed. I don't know. It's just my, it's just like my opinion, man. <laughs> but uh, no, I agree. It's that's it's a good opinion, and you should you should keep it. I've never seen the Big Lebowski, although I've been. I've seen it. it's pretty good. I've seen it. I, I have been told that some of the characters, I am. I remind some people of some of the characters in it. So I can see it. Yeah. So I I don't know if that's insulting or not, but um, to, to, depending on the character. Yep. If, I, if people remind you of of, uh, of the dude, then that's fine. If people have said that I'm kind of like the dude, so. That's fine. That's a compliment. Okay, cool. So uh, I, I was hoping it would be a compliment. Like I'd always taken it as a compliment, but then, then I suddenly thought while I was saying this, like, am I about to reveal to the whole world that people have been saying I'm a douche? <laughs> I can't remember his name for the life of me right now, but better to be thought of as him in that role than his role in uh, Iron Man Part One. 
Oh, yeah. Because he that dude was a douche. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Well, um, I I, I, I kind of like I kind of like the Iron Man part one, part one, but uh, I I I'll, I'll, wa I'll watch the Big Lebowski. I I'm sure that it's uh I'm sure that it's held up marvelously over the past twenty years that I haven't been watching it, and won't feel strangely outdated at all. Well, it was a little bit of a retro vibe at the time, so I think that will make it timeless. That's good. That's good. It's gonna, have, it's gonna have a really hard time cleaning this like back part of this engine. Maybe I can get a ladder and oh yeah, I can get a ladder okay. and get all, it's all weird. up inside of there. It's weird how whenever you go to place the ladder, the little ghost neon things that where all Does the places get up in the your ladder face? can go, ah. they all turn on for me. Did it not happen like that before? I don't think it I did. I don't know, I don't know. But, but uh, th that might be what was weirding me out before and making my view jump. Uh, I think that we hadn't used the ladders on this level last time. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. They were weirdly sort of just like on the floor over there. I, d I didn't even realize they were ladders at first until I just suddenly noticed, wait a minute, that's probably ladders over there. Ladder. Oh my God. I think I think I know what the most boring, but but okay, the most boring simulation game that people would still actually play, okay? Go on. Is library sorting simulator <laughs> where there's been an earthquake and all the books got just completely shook up and they're everywhere and you use the Dewey Decimal System to put these, these motherfuckers back on the shelf. And then when you get to the bottom of the pile, you find somebody dead at the bottom of the pile. Oh yeah. That's uh -huh. how it works. That's how it and freaking they works. Have, and they've been sucked into another world. Exactly. If you know, you know. <laughs> I, oh, I'm, I, I'm cleaning another knob over here. I cleaned the knob. Whoa. Ooh, whoa. Uh, okay, I'm almost done with this, like, back engine exhaust. And it's a it's a gigantic motherfucker. So that's, uh, that'll be, that'll be something worth having cleaned off and any minute now it'll be ca like carbonized again as soon as they take off but you know it nobody is what ever it is. said uh nobody ever said the imperium was efficient also it's not nothing nothing is forever except for the imperium <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's maintained at enormous expense don't don't tell anyone about how the projections are not on the Imperium's favor. <laughs> just, just don't tell anyone about that. Yep. Like we're not gonna make no it. No one must know. We're not gonna make it to 50 50k, boys. <laughs> no one must know. We might not make it to 42k, boys. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So do you think at some point they'll do like a big money grab for Warhammer 50k? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's, you know, the, the Horus Heresy is basically 30K. 30K, yeah. 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 I mean, look, you, ha you have to, as as people are, are prone to saying these days, get that bag. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you got to do... I think, I think Games Workshop could never be accused of leaving that bag on the table. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't think so either. <laughs> Uh, the one time they did was when they passed on uh, Blizzard. Yeah, yeah, I know. And they, I assume, have been regretting the shit out of that. Yep, but it probably would have changed them, man. It would have yeah. changed them. <laughs> did, it, uh, uh, did it show the blue things when I was manipulating? Uh, do it. Do it again. All right. Let me grab this. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see it. I seen it. There we go. I want to at some point see if I can place a ladder inside of you while you're standing on one of those things, and then you just get telefragged by it and you're crying oh, and then, on then the night. There's more, more stuff to clean. <laughs> just the e explosive blood bag. <sighs> oh, that's how it's done. There's that's how your scrubbing bubbles. It's, oh, we're, we're at the nice percentage here. Nice. 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 Any second now, we won't be nice did, anymore. But did you that know. dude, did that dude who plays for Toronto get get seventy goals, or is he still sitting? On I 69, don't know. Sixty nine. I don't know. I mean, I look, saw on, scoring uh, sixty nine goals is nice. nice. <laughs> so I saw a forum thread about or a Reddit thread about that, 
and it was just walls of nice, 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 all replied to each other. Yep, that's how it should be. That's how it should be, and all was right with the fucking world for that one glorious moment hole. I mean, glorious moment. There we go. There we go. I didn't say anything about. I didn't say anything about glory holes at all. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, there's so much filth on this. I didn't realize there were like multiple giant landing feet up until just now. They're, 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 look, the, the, a spaceship foot, foot fetishist would just be losing it well, at these I giant in, space feet. I in the description feet. of the previous level with Okay, the hold mech. up, pick up, pick up and move that ladder again. Like, okay, every time you set and move a ladder, it forces me to stand up. Oh, if that's I'm what it was. That's what scared me before, like jump scared me before. Yep. Okay. Now we know. I must have been crouching. All right. I, now I'm not, I haven't lost, we know. I haven't lost a bunch of neurons at once. And it just like weirdly shoved me that time. <laughs> that is so, so strange, weird. man. This is so freaking strange. I, uh, I just finished cleansing the lower, lower vertical stabilizer tip. <laughs> wow, you yeah. uh, you really leaned into that. Yeah, uh -huh. I most certainly did. I most certainly freaking did. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be foot cleaning for the next while. <laughs> so <laughs> me too. I will also clean this foot. Got um, I think it's weird that the candles don't get put out. That would be pretty cool. I got to admit, if the candles got put out, it would be. Like a candle in the butt. <laughs> Waxy. Yeah. Never know when, when the poop comes out. <laughs> oh. It's not like ear candling, which is not a real thing. Yeah, that is. I mean, people I mean, do people it. Do it. I, they I they don't shouldn't, think it, though. I don't think it does anything. No, it's, it's supposed to be potentially dangerous, so... You should, you know, yeah, don't don't put fire near your ear holes or your eye holes yeah. or your butthole. However, if you have if you know somebody who knows the proper way to do that cool thing they do in like Turkey or wherever, where they like fire shave your beard, then Yo. That's probably dope. Although I will say, after having ever so slightly singed my beard one time, um, I think it was had it something a, to was do it with a birthday the, cake. No, I think it had something to do with a grill, oh, or something right. like that. Um, not a fun smell. No, beard hair burning is not fun. So, yep, do not burn the beard <laughs> unless you're not a unless you're a professional. If you're a professional, and also I guess if you don't if you don't want. If you don't want the beard, then I guess the fire is part of part of how you can get rid of it. Exactly. Exactly. Oh yeah, this is a nasty foot. I just this is a see, nasty foot. I don't see how people back in the day could roll up to some guy that they either don't know or barely know. It'd be like, you're that guy who, uh, for some reason, just like me, suspiciously had to flee the east and move out west now now shave get me out with your, your straight get razor, out your straight yeah. razor and shave me and totally don't leave me for dead <laughs> it's like oh no i've given you ideas now haven't i i've given uh, you ideas or, Damn or it. back or back east you're in you know some neighborhood called hell's kitchen and you're like well this friendly barber won't cut my face or you're in the meat packing district and uh you know, that just sounds like the kind of place where you want to get shamed, too. <laughs> the meatpacking district, it sounds like the kind of thing that the only thing that should happen there is meatpacking. I'm just saying. Yeah. But yeah, other stuff happens. Other stuff happens there. So, I I Including many, many layers of hypergentrification. <laughs> yup. Oh. Uh, that which want, once packed meat now packs in like a... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was going to say like uh, trendy coffee shops or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you don't That's... want meat. Well, you don't want meat, co meat coffee. But the oh, thing is, meat coffee. speaking of this the is Bosmer kind of would drink that from um, the Elder, oh, from Scrolls. Elder Scrolls. But uh, we were kind of we were kind of orbiting this the whole time. Uh, you know how uh, that mobster Albert Anastasia was killed while he was having a shave. You know, people busted in and 
and shot him while he had a towel on his face. Uh, that was in New York, and it was in uh, whichever whichever hotel building that you know had a bar. Uh, bar. Uh, and I'm sure it had bars, but I had you know had this barber shop people would go to. The weird thing is that barber shop still exists. I mean, the building still exists, and that area of of the place is still being used commercially. It is now a Starbucks. <laughs> You can go get a freaking latte in the room where that mob hit happened. And you can be like, hmm, yes. <laughs> mm, yep, e- exactly. Mm, yes. And you sip your latte and, and think about uh, how, how much inflation has happened since then. Exactly. Like I, the shave probably cost so little money that he had to, like, use scissors to cut a penny and a half to pay this this guy. <laughs> he had to tip him lavishly just so he would find be a way. Able- to, to create your own halfpenny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the solution was just to tip lavishly so you could use an entire coin. <laughs> yup. The existence of the halfpenny is just... It's a half a penny. It's, yeah, yeah, that's I know. what it means. It's just, it's it's weird. Okay. It's fucking See, here's, weird. Here's, no, here what's weird. Here's, hear me out, okay? Hear Half's, what's weird? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was trying to say hear me out and here's what's weird. But um, speaking of saying things in a longer way, half cent is two syllables. Halfpenny is three syllables. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yup. Halfpenny. They always they always say it like that though. And the halfpenny. Yeah. Halfpenny. <laughs> what about uh, your ape? Did you lose a gorilla? Don't don't be penetrating your monkey that you bought for some reason. <laughs> That's. No, just just. It's just, better to rent. That's... It's better to rent. <laughs> yeah. This is some stream of consciousness crap now. Yup. Going from what a stream. <laughs> from mob hits to ape institution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the nadir. Yeah. <laughs> we have reached it's the nadir. The bo- it's the bottom, and guess what happens at the bottom? Ape sex work. <laughs> <laughs> I would have suspected as much. Yup. It's as the, as Nostradamus predicted. <laughs> oh my god, has anyone taken a cruise through Nostradamus lately and you know, reapplied some crap to that supposedly predicts the stuff, the weird stuff that's been happening. Yeah. Pro- people are probably doing that literally constantly, you know? Yeah. I, I, that, that, that dude done did predicted shit. <laughs> oh, oh, always that's, afterward. Always with the bullshit. <laughs> always. I opened up my steam overlay and my cream overlay for a second there, but uh, but we're all good. Oh man, you still have such a dirty underside, don't you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The main wing engine is all filthy. I got paranoid and had to alt tab and make sure I was still recording, which I am. That's that's good. That way I the don't have you know. to. Uh, I don't have to stabulate you. It's or, been like, it's been 33 minutes already. We've only cleaned like 12% yeah, more than we had cleaned. I know. This is a, like it's, I it's said before, epic. this is a dirty boy. This. Like we cleaned the clean part before. Now we're cleaning the dirty part. <laughs> it's literally what it is. Yeah. I mean, clearly that's what's going on over here. I like cleaning these retro thrusters though. Well, you. Joking aside. Go ahead and do that. I'm and doing I'll it. clean other bits. I'm cleaning the rear landing well frame, amongst other things. Amongst other things. Well, well, well. Yes. Yes. All these bits are just like in such awkward locations that makes it hard to... Ooh, ooh, I can clean this other foot, and that'll, that'll, uh, that'll be a big chunk. A big chunk of cinder block. <laughs> Uh, that's the second big Simpsons reference. Yup. Yes, it is. I, I mean, I would, I would actually pay to see the episode where Homer Simpson uh, chucks a big chunk, chunk of cinder block at a guy riding bicycle, a yeah. uh, penny writhing, penny farthing bike. Penny writhing. Whoa. Penny, that is... penny writhing. 
Well, see, that's the thing is that's, uh, that's like a, wrestling in a that's bunch like of, a Lovecraftian stripper name. <laughs> okay. Well, no, it turns out that that wrestling in a big pile of U.S. pennies is cheaper than wrestling in mud. But no, that's a that's a Lovecraftian stripper name. This penny writhing. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh. just, just go with it, okay? Uh, no, I'm into that. That's, that's, dude. Uh, that's, that's good stuff. Getting the, very tentacular. The, uh, the uh, ah, you know what it is? Um, that strip club is called Beneath the Mound of Madness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Are yes, I mon- do. Are the Mons of Madness, depending on which language you want to talk in. The old Venus Mons. Because the, the actual book is Beneath the Mountain of Madness? Yes. That's a thing. I, I, I'm not I, just saying words. I am I am aware. I am aware. But, uh, I mean, it is kind of weird that just some random dude, you know, came up with this thing that people kind of act like it's, and I know this is a contradiction, but real mythology. <laughs> well, what's, well he, no, here's what's weird about it. It's weird to begin with, right? What's weirder is that he did that shit, what was it, 50 years before Tolkien did it? Yeah. That's just some random guy. Right? Yeah. That, uh, not just that, but I a random think, guy who was, like, incredibly racist, by the way. <laughs> that and I dude. Don't, I don't think that Tolkien was, was, be, was inspired by him. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Look, uh, he was a weird dude. Let's just let's just let's just leave it at that. He was a weird motherfucker. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I believe he was contemporaries at least for a while with Nikola Tesla, and Nick maybe just a, maybe Nikola Tesla would have been really young, uh, but um, if they could have met in their respective primes, Nikola Tesla would have looked away from gazing longingly at that pigeon he fell in love with and been like, that motherfucker's a weirdo. Yup. <laughs> yup. Oh. You know what Nikola Tesla's favorite video game would have been, though? Tesla Grad. That, no, no, no. That Hotoful Boyfriend or whatever, where you get to oh, date you, you birds. Date, you date birds? Yeah. 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 No, he probably would have thought that was, like, crass. Because yeah. they're all, like, um, I, I believe it was, like, uh. a, court, a courtly love thing with him. Well, the thing is, he could have turned on the mode where it didn't show their anime boy figures, and instead it was just oh, birds. Oh, it's just beautiful birds. Beautiful yeah, okay. birds. and Yeah, that, that he'd be fine with that. Heavy. As long as there isn't any hardcore cloaca. <laughs> yeah. Now let me show you where the egg comes from. Boing. I think it's sad that those eagles in California, you know, had dud eggs again. Yeah, I know. And, like, the, the male is depressed. And then they won't even let weirdos go there and snatch the eggs up and sell them to, like, egg collectors in England. This albumin is worth pounds per ounce. Yeah, uh uh-huh. That, I mean, that's, that's the, that's the way, that's the way of the world. <laughs> that thing. I mean, to be fair, egg I know that probably there are some people anyway. who do it in America as well. But that thing where British, it's like British people seem to be really into it. Not not like the average British person. Okay, I make I make no accusations upon the average Englando, but there are some Englandos who want to collect um, like the fucked up eggs of rare birds. Okay, that's just so strange that, to me. That's a thing. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. And the thing is, presumably they don't always start out as fucked up eggs. They just start out as an egg and then they snatch them, you know? So it's like, they're like, bird watching is not enough for me. I need to be stealing eggs. Like, yeah. it's a next level thing. See, I think you... I, I, okay, th- this is going to sound really weird that I just had this in my back pocket already. But I thought about this uh, earlier. Uh, when I when I was getting some milk, uh, I think that if I ever have to just leave a place that has its own fridge ever again, uh, and you know not take the fridge because it's not mine, I'm gonna leave in the freezer a bunch of labeled like containers of milk that are all labeled with uh, female celebrity names, as if I have a celebrity breast milk collection. <laughs> That's disgusting but uh 
You know? Because the next person who opens that refrigerator will either... No, they're just not- going to think you're a fucking serial killer or some shit. That's all they'll think. They'll no, think they'll you're think a freaky criminal. They'll think that maybe I got Anne Hathaway's milk somehow. I don't even know what to say about this, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I'll have to make a decision whether to get rid of it in disgust or wonder if maybe it's so chug, valuable chug, potentially. Chug, chug, ah, Or chug, yeah. Or think maybe it's valuable enough that I'll keep it around until maybe I can get it verified somehow. Um, yeah. I don't know how you'd get that verified, but... Uh... You order a 23andMe kit and swab the swab in there? I mean... I, I, I guess, I guess we've determined that you are in fact and cow. <laughs> exactly. Most of your genes come from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> See, we were just working our way to that. Now so, it's funny. So it's Snooky's milk. Oh. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. Somewhere out yes. there, Snooky is like, wow, I got mentioned again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like tales from yesteryear is what that is. I heard recently that there are people out there who stop drinking chocolate milk when they become adults because it's like a kid drink, supposedly. Well,. You better uh-uh. not tell that to our mother because, like, you know, she will be drinking chocolate milk for when the rest of her life. she turns 147. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes. That's, that's what it is. That's fucking weird, man. Yeah. Who on earth? And I, it was I, in this context of somebody having to, like, like, literally somebody was like, wait a minute, do you have a kid you didn't tell me about? And he's like, what the hell? What are you talking about? And, and, uh, the person was like, well, there's this chocolate milk and he's yeah it's delicious i drink it treating you like you're 47 years old watching adventure time (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i mean if you're into that just do it but you know uh uh, it doesn't appeal to my sensibilities yeah yeah it's like it it doesn't appeal to you know like as a as, as somebody who i'm not 47 but as somebody who grew up after the time of Adventure Time, or before the time of Adventure Time, it just doesn't appeal to me in any shape, form, or fashion. It's just, uh, it's not my kind of thing. And, uh... Oh, yeah. I'm, well, you, okay, I'm fine you know to what leave I am, it to others. Uh, there's retro things, though, that were already after my time, or, or in the time of we didn't have cable when we were kids, or whatever or some, something in between there that I have to go back and watch now. Because uh, I just found out recently that there was an Earthworm Jim cartoon and Dan Castellaneta was Earthworm Jim. Earthworm James, show him some respect, sir. Show him the same respect that uh-uh. you would like to be afforded. Earthworm Jim is a suspicious character, okay? Because he's a worm that crawls into a spacesuit and that somehow allows him to to have hands. Yeah. That doesn't make a lick of sense. That is true. That doesn't seem quite right now that you've, you know, put it like that. So Also, how where do you get them eyes from? Um well, he bought them at the supermarket. That's that's where he bought them. Hey, you know what that reminded me of? Hypermart. Oh, is that still a Hyper thing? Mart. Uh, I, they I, I don't down, know if right? Hypermart. I don't know if our Hypermart is a thing anymore. But uh, it, you know, it was a thing. Obviously, it was. They shut that thing down. Okay. In case people aren't aware, Hypermart was kind of like somewhere between Sam's and Walmart. Okay, and it was. I, I actually, they actually called it Hypermart, which is a, yeah. such a strange thing to it's actually weird, do. It's weirdly dystopian, and, you know. Um. What I know about Hypermart is that according to our mother, whenever we would have to go to Hypermart, I, when I was a baby or a very young child, would fucking freak and did not like Hypermart at all. Okay. I what like was responded. The, what was the issue? I think it was, was it? that it was like, had extremely loud fans in it. 
all over the place. Oh, and it was big yeah. and echoey. And it like destroyed my child ears. And that, I can that, see it that. caused me to have to grow in my adult ears much earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what we did get there though? Uh, that we still have and haven't used in years, but we still have them. Because uh, here's the thing about Hypermart is it had a grocery section and also other like department store sections, but in the front it had like other weird like mall like a, a whole thing that looks was like a third of a mall with like yeah. other stores like electronics and stuff. That was where we got those weird alternate NES controllers that were like I do remember those. not capacitive touch but like touch sensitive. Yup. And we still have them. And uh, I think I actually might have permanently lost uh, some of the nerve endings in my thumb from those things. Oh, you mean because you see the thing is what it was, right? It, it was like a touchpad D-pad. And you would think that that would make it like less harmful since it was, all, it was all like smooth and stuff. But after a while, it would just like the it little friction burn knobby bits on it would kind of uh just burn the shit yeah. out of your hands if it had been entirely smooth and you just had to learn wherever where the edges were or just felt where the actual edge was that would be fine but it had little raised ridges for it, like it had ruffles that's what it yeah, did to, to let you know tactile wise like where the the cross of the d-pad was and yeah, you would be just moving your thumb over that over and over until you would start to destroy your thumb. Until you'd start to be like, oh, they just want to cure my thumb pain. <laughs> and, uh, That's your third Simpsons that, reference. Yep, yep, yet another Simpsons reference. But yeah. That's just a trick to get you in there so they can cure your thumb pain. Exactly. But uh, yeah. So you, you've probably been going, you know, without some of the nerves in your thumb for these however many years and everybody always wonders why they're able to just attack your thumb with needles and nothing happens yeah well there was that one time that uh that uh that dude charlie stabbed me in the hand with a pencil but that wasn't i, di I didn't lose any nerves from that but i had them all when it happened <laughs> well i i gotta admit that uh it's one of those things where I, we're just lucky that happened to you and not to me because there would have been an incident <laughs> if that had yeah. happened to me. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you stuck that pencil right up his nose. I was a much less peaceful child than Uko was. <laughs> Let's put it like that. What's not that I started that... shit. It's just that if somebody fucked with me, I was prone to respond with violence. It's What's just weird is that Charlie. I remember now that I don't know. How, I don't know how I didn't remember this every time I thought about this but earlier that day Charlie said I'm gonna stab you for no apparent reason and I thought he was you know joking oh, and man. then later that day he stabbed me with a pencil today there would have been like you'd have pressed like a you know silent alarm button <laughs> <laughs> and a swarm of like air marshals would would oh yeah come. I mean not so much air marshals because the school was on the ground. Ground but, uh, marshals. <laughs> yeah. Texas Rangers. There That's we go. That's the one. Yeah, it would come in and tackle his ass. <laughs> yep. Secure uh, the pencil. Secure the pencil. And like the guy comes in and like breaks it in half. Uh, pencil so... secured, sir. <laughs> secured the pencil, sir. Like, uh, yep. Or if it's a, uh, if it was a mechanical, if it had been a mechanical pencil, it probably would have been worse. Cause no, no, no. That... So, some guy runs in, grabs the mechanical pencil, and then clicks it until the lead falls out. That, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> that's what I was working my way to. It's like, he's all like, click, 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 click. <laughs> We've disarmed it, sir. Or he like opens up the lead receptacle and shakes all the lead out. Yeah. <laughs> Weapon is secure. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, that's, that's amazing. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. Sponson! Every time I see Sponson, I want to I want to yell does this, like... Does this huh? thing have skegs? Uh, I don't know. But every time I see Sponson, I want to be like, Sponson! <laughs> like he's some sort of... Um, I feel like... The, can this thing get any closer? Uh, we can try. Like, it, it'll be hard to get it closer. <laughs> 
This uh, this game should have um, like proximity voice. I support. agree. I think so this is the be... closer it'll get. You could try to like move it elsewhere and maybe get it closer if you want. This but is good. It's I think the it's closer a closer. it's going to get though. Um, I almost got knocked closer. off there. That was kind of amusing. Um, this like last little bit of side armor, I just can't seem to figure out where it's dirty. And you know, I've been I've maybe been it's up on the on top it for here. Some time. Oh no, that was the belt. Yeah. So could it be? Down? I'm gonna go down. Oh, there on the we go. I there it goes. I got One it. of us got it. I was I was hosing too. I'm pretty sure I saw the bit though. Excellent. I'm pretty sure I saw its naughty bits, and then saw it off its naughty bits. That doesn't make any sense. That at least I hope it doesn't. <laughs> at least I hope it doesn't. Did you just get like knocked around when I picked up this ladder? Yes, a little bit. Well, uh, you got to do what you got to do. Got your wing mount and Fuselaginous. your canard wing and mm, fuselaginous fluids. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, I'm cleaning the sanguinous thing, so yeah. The fuselaginous, fuselaginous chapter... fluids. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Can't believe I said splugilaginous fluids like that. It is that. amazing how much dirt is 9% of the dirt on this month. Yeah, I know. I know. It's intense, there's, man. There's still a buttload to clean off. Although I think we've cleaned the worst bits of it now. Okay. Yeah, we have. I think we're past the worst and on to the breast. I mean, on to the best. That's where we are right now. Can't believe its canopy is still glazed with um, space cum, or parts of its canopy are. Anyway, so we must. Uh, it we makes must me think about the how canopy. whatever those bugs are that are were that used to get on your windshield when you would go on a road trip, they're basically all dead now. Apparently, yeah, I know. If you go and and you know, and road trip now. They, that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, it is and pretty that freaks me up. out. Okay, like, and I guess the thing is, did the cars get them all? Is <laughs> it's that probably what got something that how to do happened? with either pesticides, insecticides, uh, in, insecticide is some. Look, I, I, oh. I can't, I can't be in favor of all insecticides, but insecticide is something that. You know, if you can deploy that, then employ it, deploy to, it yeah. put a stop to that. Thank you very much. Yep. Ew. 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 I grossed myself out. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, but uh, I prefer to believe that um, that the cars got them all. Yep. Thump, 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 thump. I mean, I guess it's theoretically possible the cars got them all. Okay, the nose, nose armor belt. Oh well, nose armor belt. It's still, it's still a little bit dirty somehow, and I don't see where the dirt. The dirt is coming from inside the building. Okay, the dirt. Uh, I no, that wasn't it. Ah, oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. We're doing buy, good. Buy gum. I'm gonna clean all the gum off this canard. I come. I don't. <laughs> That that sounds uh sticky. So uh you know, I, I won't say it again. <laughs> I won't say it again. Uh, maybe the bottom side could be yeah, dirty I somewhere. I, I see some of the tip is sticky. The, Wait, old, the tip the uh, tip is separate. The there it goes. Okay, we got we got them both though. Got the old dirty sticky tip the there. The sticky <laughs> tip, the sticky ending. The sticking it ending. Sticky sticky endo, <laughs> what? The sticking it ending. That's that's what it is. The sticking it ending. Um Got that fus fuselage uh, emblem, and yes. There we go. I cleaned it. Are we? Is it mostly this wing and this backside now that's dirty? I think so. I think it is. I think it is. Okay. Well, right. I'll clean I'm you gonna out, get out good and proper. I'm going to get out my long boy and clean this segment. You do there what go. you got to do. I will be cleaning inside of this year. Uh, I don't. Nasty think, I don't think people understand that if you were to buy this game, and we're not sponsored, okay? But if you were to watch us for like a collective three at three hours and ten minutes or whatever these two videos are going to come out being, if you were to watch us clean every inch of this thing, and then you were to go out and buy this game and clean it yourself, you would still be satisfied. I agree with that. I agree. 
absolutely, positively about that. I, 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 I'm curious about something. I'm curious about something over here, and I'm gonna do it. What Is are you that, doing? I was seeing if I could knock you off because you were kind of you were kind of in a perilous looking spot. So I, I was, like that you were strobing that shit. Yeah, in an attempt to knock me off the side of the ship. Yep, that that kind of horseplay is looked down upon by the like imperial regulators. oceanographic society. I don't know why oceanographic, but yeah, you know, we'll just we'll just roll with it. Like I am a NOAA special agent. You're out, you'll have to come with us. <laughs> yup. So like, here's the thing that's funny. We're going to throw right? you into the woods hole. <laughs> oh. going to woods hole you. And it's as bad as it sounds. <laughs> okay, here's the thing that's funny, though, right? That, um, like, I, I, I don't claim to know much about, like, the rules of law enforcement, right? But... And like, nor do I, nor do I claim to be an expert on anything NCIS related. Okay, but the thing is, right? So there's that TV series NCIS, and so everybody hears about it, and they're like, immediately their response is, you know, why Naval would crime. why would anyone in the world care if somebody comes up and says they're a naval criminal investigator you'd be like i'm not in the navy fuck off right that's that's the the first instinct you have for that but uh -huh. i'm pretty sure and like this is without me watching the show or knowing much about like the concept of the ncis but i'm they pretty sure you. that if you're a federal a special agent then or any kind of agent like that if they come up and say, like, put your hands in the air, you're under arrest or whatever, and you're like, <laughs> you're in the Navy, you can't do anything. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a civilian organization. That's a it's a real law enforcement organization. Yeah, they and can uh, if throw you're you like, on your hood. And, and you're like, uh, nah, I don't care. Uh, I'm pretty sure they can whoop your ass for that. So yeah, they, can, they can throw you on your hood yeah. and zip, zip tie your hands to your yeah. butt and everything else. So yeah. like. People should probably be, you know, oh, you know. Ra it's like basically, it's it's just funny that rather than that TV show raising the awareness of the existence of the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, it actually it becomes more likely made uh, it more likely for people to like, oh yeah, Navy cops, fuck off, bitch. And <laughs> who knows if somebody has actually gotten shot and killed by a Navy cop at this point? Uh because of that misunderstanding <laughs> because that's a very real possibility that somebody has just been like yeah fuck off bitch go go back to arresting people for i don't know um drinking their torpedo fuel or something like that that's and, a real uh, thing that's a real that's thing also by the way thing, yeah that's a real thing i don't know if you do that like in a if you can do that with modern american uh you know torpedo fuel but you could in the past yeah they ran on alcohol and you could drink it and there were also rumors of like the chinese missile force or whatever having people either drinking their rocket fuel or potentially taking bits of it at home and using it to like power their stoves <laughs> Which is just amazing. It's I mean, just amazing. And the thing is, like, it makes sense, right? Okay, okay. Just, just think about it like this, right? If you were in charge of a nuclear arsenal, and you don't want to use it, like, and you're thinking, like, well, you know, I would really rather not be involved in nuclear war ever. And I mean, if somebody else nukes me, how does it really benefit me if to I nuke them their back? destruction? Yeah, you know. And right and now, so, I would like some delicious, delicious cooked exactly. food. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, why not? That's that's the question: is why not? And uh, yeah. you're ensuring your moral hygiene in the future because you didn't engage in an act of ridiculous now, revenge. Of course, it might it might be a situation where you really ought to not be cooking with that shit, <laughs> and it might be you know. Yeah, it's, um, it might it might be um, giving some weird... you and your family horrifying super cancer. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure like Thorazine or whatever it is that they that they use in rockets is very carcinogenic. 
So yep. you shouldn't do that. Yeah. It's not like it used to be where people where you could like drink the shit in the in the you know in the in torpedo. The torpedo. Right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that eventually they started putting um like uh, Ipecac and whatnot. Is that where people invented denatured alcohol? No, and like, they invented that earlier. Yeah, I know. I know. And, and, so in case stupid. people aren't aware of this, right? At least in America, I, maybe it's like this in other parts of the world. I don't know. But occasionally you'll hear about something called, quote unquote, denatured alcohol, which is the, you know, it's the like non-drinking alcohol that you get for cleaning or what for cleaning or whatever. And so I know, I think we talked about this before, but it bears but re-mentioning. It bears it's mentioning. It's a safety thing. Yeah, it's a safety thing. That when don't, they say don't drink it. when they say denatured alcohol, what they actually mean is this is some alcohol that we deliberately poisoned. Yeah, okay? We put actual poison in it. We del- they, what they mean to say is we deliberately poisoned this alcohol because presumably presumably it, I don't know whether it started. During prohibition, it started before prohibition because but, even before the prohibition, thing is, people were like, "Look, we want to make ridiculous excess money by doing by running a still, and or by selling any kind of alcohol." But in the industrial era, producing enough uh, enough ethanol to fill all the swimming pools in the world every day is easy. Easy. So we'll take a product that by actual market forces ought to be cheaper than water and uh, we're going to instead poison a bunch of that so that the drinkable kind is still way more expensive than yeah. you know soft drinks yeah it's like it's the thing is that's how far people will go to protect their own like market niche is yeah. to be like literally like here's this thing people might want to drink I'm going to add poison to it, I nope. fam. And, and we're going to lobby extensively until it is mandated that you have to put deadly human poison yeah. into it or else you're yeah. breaking the law. Yeah. Shit's fucking it's wild, weird. man. It's just it's Shit very weird. It's fucking wild. <laughs> Humans are um, uncontrollable. <laughs> Let's put it like that. You You can't stop humans from doing a whacked out crazy shit. And, uh, You're not wrong. You know, left to their own devices, they'll poison everything and maybe set you on fire just because they want to. With the lemons. With the lemons. Thank well, I mean, you te- technically, very much. Technically, I'm pretty sure that there's a small amount of like flammable oil in a lemon or orange peel. You're going to so invent a combustible lemon. <laughs> yeah, you, you technically could get enough lemon like zest and press it and get lemon we've never played portal 2 on the channel have we we should play th- portal 2 on the channel at some and point then didn't yeah we should because we've played portal 1 on the channel and it's been years we should also play portal 2 coop on the channel <laughs> We should. By which yeah, I mean we, co-op. Yeah, we, we started, we, st- we thought about doing that. Then we just said, we said, nah, people don't want to see that. And then we then we were going to play it on our own, not on the channel. But we, we only got past like the first three levels or whatever. Something like that. Yeah. I think, we should do that. Because we've never played Portal 2 co-op except for the first few levels. And I think people would enjoy watching us potentially struggle with some of the uh I guess I have to be whichever points I have to be the short robot I guess yeah I have to be the tall one Peabody or whatever yeah (laughs) Peabody um we're almost done suddenly yeah we are suddenly I think it's mainly this weird uh engine cone and there's like a crevices few bits over here too okay I got your uh there we go yup got the oh there's this undersized main wing engine too uh, there we go with part of that. The There's main so many crevices exhaust. under this, uh, uh, like, uh, where the landing struts go. Interesting. I'm cleaning the shit out of this engine exhaust right now, so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get her done soon. There we go. Got this engine vent here. Come on. Get cleaned, you, um, dirty, uh space um plane <laughs> I don't know you ran out of steam on that one 
I mean, that was kind of a deliberately running out of steam kind uh, of thing. It, you were but, doing a bit, a yes. space bit. Ooh, a sexual space bit. Okay, N no, what are we? Plan, no, what no, are we missing we're not, here? Uh, we're not sexualizing this thing any more than it needs to be. It's got a lot of guns. Yeah, space yeah. Space dicks. It's all, it's all penetrative and everything. Okay, this air brake needs to finish being cleaned. And uh, they got to clean the air brakes. You cleaned a lot of this, like, uh, and all the hair brakes. Yup. Come on. Get cleaned. I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, there we go. Um, what we have next is uh, access ramp hinges. Where are the access, access to ramps? what? I don't wait, know. I, wait, I bet, uh, it's here, on, I bet it's on the bottom. There's an underside hatch. Is there like a front access ramp maybe? Ah, there we go. Where are the hinges over here? Um, ah, on the side uh, here, these, uh, uh, it must be the other one on the other side. Um, okay, there we go, there we go. It was much more prominent than I expected. Yeah. I saw something here that was not clean. Okay, the underside armor. Gotta clean the under armor over here. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, there we go. What next? Um, we got some las cannons and las cannon power packs. Where are, uh, could that be in the, no. Which one of you is a las cannon? Uh, there should be the one here. on the tip, yeah. <laughs> on the tip. Just the tip. Uh, there's a bunch of grime all over this one. Ah, it's moving. I, 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 at first I thought it would, you know, stop at a more reasonable point, but it didn't. So, uh, there we go. Come. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's a filthy, it's a filthy laser girl, and it needs to be punished. Clean it, all of its crevices. Uh, I, I, I cleaned the power pack, and, uh, okay, main engine, main wing engine turbines... So it's either this, ah, this, this is dirty. Um, come on. It's this one. Ah, there we go. There Yo! we freaking go. Complete the Thunderhawk job. Um, I like boosted into the air there like a beast. That was, that was pretty freaking cool. Um, okay. Get on the ground over here in front of me on this other side. Uh, are we going to take a group photo? No, I'm going to like jump at you and power wash you. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Where are you at? I'm on the other side of the thing. There you, there you are. I see you. I see you. Okay. Woo! Uh, that didn't really work out as well <laughs> as I was expecting it to. But anyway, anyway, we're going to stop here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that schmexy thumbs up button. Make sure you ring the bell to keep getting notified of delicious waffle content. Waffle Bros signing out.